So, I have found something that I am pretty shocked I haven't found sooner, guys. Yes, I've found a way to completely stop the zombies without causing any damage. <laughs> yes, and you won't believe how it's done. <laughs> it's like this. I cannot believe I have not found this sooner, guys. Now, when you place the spikes like this, they don't do any damage to the zombies, neither do they do the damage to you either. So you can walk into them like this, not a problem, no damage. You can even walk through some of them, look at that. And the zombies can get quite confused about this as well. So let me show you guys quickly. Um, I spot a couple of zombies. Now obviously this one I've done doesn't work, they can get through. But you can see that, uh, well, they are quite confused. Now they do break the spikes now and then. But you can see that uh, it's very difficult for them to get around. Look at that. Now if you lead them over this side, let's just see if I can bring them around this side. They actually can go through the spike as well. Look at this. So you've got to watch out for that and I know how to prevent that from happening. But what I've done is I perfected it in this base. They can't actually break this guys. They can break the top one I think, but the bottom one they can't seem to break it. I'll show you guys now. And then I put these spikes like this all the way around the sides because they just don't like to go through this and it's just kind of a mission for them. So you can see that it's kind of like a wall protector as well. So let me quickly um, spawn in some zombies quickly. I spawn a couple of them. And then you'll see what I mean about this over here. We can, we can even run a horde knight just to make sure. So here they come. And well, there's your base. I know, right? <laughs> I don't know if anyone has done this before, any other content creators, but yeah, I am shocked that this actually works. Now, you can hear them hitting on things, but I do believe they're hitting on the top one, so let them break that. We'll speed up this and see what happens. So I've sped up the zombies, as you can see, they are going absolute nuts. They're trying their very hardest to get inside. They are crawling as well, look at that. So they're breaking, they broke that one for some reason, that's weird. So let them try their very hardest. They are really battling to get through this. <laughs> Come on, zombies. Come on, you need to try a little harder. I believe when they break it, they can't break it again for some reason. I think the hitbox has changed. But I'm pretty sure the fun pimps are going to patch this out. I am pretty sure the fun pimps will patch this out. I have the, they have broken it again. It's a bit strange because... They're breaking the back one, but not the front one. You can see you can stand in these things. You can't get it hurt by them. You can see the front ones are still fine. It's kind of interesting, so let them try. Come on, zombies. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, they have broken the back one now. But let me actually see if I can break that. Look here. So they're just breaking the back ones for some reason. Are they hitting those ones now? Which ones are hitting? I can't see. Let them hit... Let's see what happens. I don't know, I can't see which one they're hitting. Now, when I was testing this before, they were hitting on the top ones, but as soon as they broke the top one, they couldn't seem to break that one. They shouldn't be crawling either, I don't really want them to be crawling. Ah, okay, so they're breaking the bottom ones. If I break the bottom one, can they get in if I do that? No, they can't. Okay. <laughs> it's so weird. I can't believe the fun pimps didn't find this out. I mean, it's like, just turn the spike sideways. It's like, not that complicated. So what we're gonna do is we stop the zombies there, because I think what we'll do is run a horde knight. I think that's the best test. Uh, obviously, you guys can um, use this idea for your own. But let me show you how it works. Okay, so now if you take a, a, any spike and you go advanced, and you move it around, like, so if you do it in the center like that, um, let me just see something in the center. I don't know, it's a bit complicated, but if you do it like this, if you can't get through it, the zombies can't get through it. However, if you do it like that, so that's sideways, that's going to the east. Uh, you can actually walk through those, and the zombies can walk through those. So what you want to do is you want to have them facing uh, the way that they are placed. It seems like that works a little bit better. And then obviously you can just stack them like that. It's just so weird because you can't actually take any damage. If you jump on top of them, you can take damage, but like on the sides, it's like you cannot take damage from them. I found this out by playing on, when we were playing on our stream, we, we, we put spikes like this and well, the zombies just didn't get hurt by them. You can see like that. It's freaking crazy to think that this actually 
<laughs> this actually works. <laughs> um, I was experimenting with this space as well. I tried to do something like this. However, let me show you what they were doing. Yeah, just want some zombies in. Let's just... They were jumping and actually getting in. So you can see they got really close. Look how close that is. You can see when they jump up like that, uh, they actually kind of crawl a little bit and then they actually get in. You can see like that. So one way to actually fix that maybe is get rid of those up there. You can see how hard it is for them to actually get through this, guys. Look how hard. That's, that's insane to think this, this actually works. <laughs> but see, those ones can have a chance of getting in. But yeah, share this video around. And uh, also, I, I encourage other creators and yourself to experiment with this a little bit more. Maybe make some bases out of this. I know this is like 100% cheese base, and I'm going to get that comment. No, 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 Mr. Reach is too cheese for me. But uh, we do all types of bases on the channel. Cheese or non-cheese. Kind of hate that word by now, and everyone uses that word, but that's just what it is now. See so, yeah, that? I, I prefer. I don't really like that one. Uh, I prefer this one a lot more. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually jump onto Horde Knight, give this a test, and see if we can maybe um, run a Horde Knight and see what actually happens. But let me let me break these quick and watch out when placing these because they're really hard to to actually um, break. So now what you want to do, so that spike won't work. So you have to go advanced, and you got to make sure the spike is facing, uh, let me see, like that. It needs to face that way. No, wait, am I right? Am I wrong? That's wrong. I think that's wrong. I don't know. Yeah, that's wrong. It needs to face, is it a bit difficult to try? Yeah, so when it's facing on the wall like that, it needs to face like that. Let me break this quick. There you go. So it needs to face like it's on the wall, basically, facing that way. So that you can't get through it. The zombies can't get through it. But let me uh, put that down as well. Uh, what we can even do as well, we can break this one. And that way the zombies don't have anything to hit on. Let's just see how that goes. Let's run a horde night quick. Okay. Here comes the zombies. Let's light this quickly. And see what they do. Now, I don't think they're going to come from behind me. There's no point. They'd rather come this way. But I've also got some Molotovs. Yes, we can use that. See, I can hear them hitting on it, but it's going to take them a very long time to get in. Let's throw that. There you go. Did they break that one? They've broken that one already. That's okay. Let them break. It's fine. I want to see how, how long it actually takes them to get in to the base. It's kind of the idea. Let's throw another one in there. Burn your zombies! I mean, even if they do actually get in, it's still amazing that this actually... It kind of works, technically. You can see they're breaking the top ones right now. But the bottom ones don't look affected. Look, that one's fine, that one's fine, that one's fine, that one's fine, that one's fine. You can see that. Okay, they've broken that one now. And it's nice, because you can actually use your sledgehammer here. You don't actually have to worry about um, your guns. You can just hit them with your fists and stuff. And I don't think they're hitting on the uh, the blocks above them. I did test... I did check that last time I was testing this, and I never got any damage from that. See, they're breaking that one now. That's not good, zombies. It's no good. And there's quite a few zombies here as well. Now they've broken that top one. This is truly amazing. You could just have a tunnel, and the tunnel could just be full of spikes lost sideways like this. <laughs> It'd take them forever to get through it. And I think, at least in my opinion, spikes are not that expensive to uh, replace and make. So, not an expensive build whatsoever. So you can see now, they're hitting each other by the way. I can hear them. Now that they've broken those top ones, there's literally nothing that they're hitting on. I can't hear anything. I can hear them hitting on themselves, but I can't hear any blocks being hit. Neither can I hear the spikes being hit. So let's put one of those in there. I don't know, guys. Yeah, this is crazy. I am pretty certain the fun pimps are going to go and patch this out for the next patch. It's just like... <laughs> don't tell the fun pimps, everybody. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so glad I found this. It's freaking cool, actually. 
What's that? You don't take damage. You can walk into it. Okay, I'm on fire. This... That's Mr. Reach video confirmed. You don't have to worry about getting yourself nicked with these spikes. It's just like... Uh, I think that one broke over there. Okay. I think they're getting a little bit upset now. It's kind of why I put two rows just in case they got through the, the one. If they break that one, then they're going to be down to that. But look how long it's taken them just to get through that. Okay. They broke that one for some reason. Okay. That's like so way off. Did I have a vulture? So now what you could do is you should just make another row. There you go. That actually might change their path. No, it doesn't. Okay, we're good. We have to do that. Yeah, just make another row. Not a problem. There you go. <laughs> and this still haven't passed the first row. Let's see what the demolishers do. I, I don't think it'll be any difference, to be honest, as long as you don't hit their beepy things. I can't hear them hitting on the spikes now. They're hitting on that one now. Let's throw another one of those. Now the reason why they're not coming from like behind me and stuff is because I've got this wall here. They'd rather come through this than and go to the wall. Yeah guys, I think I've shown my point here. <laughs> okay, well there you go guys. I really wanted to get that video out and show you. <laughs> it's freaking insane. That I don't, I can't, I just cannot believe I haven't figured this out sooner. It's just such a strange thing. I mean, you can see that, uh, yeah, they were hitting on spikes, and uh, I think some of the ground was hit as well. Was that a spike? I can't actually tell. Uh, I think it's the ground that they were hitting on. That could be bad, so it's probably better to uh, change that. But you can see they weren't even touching the, the roof as well. Absolutely insane. It is crazy to think that this is how this is. <laughs> Come on, fun pumps. You're gonna fix this now, huh? No, no. The fun pumps won't fix it because you guys just won't tell the fun pumps. It's fine. I trust you guys. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope I uh, showed you something new today. Feel free to go ahead and use it and, I don't know, mess around with it a little bit more and see what you can find out. Bye, everybody. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately, I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So it's true. I'm so glad, feel it too.